look down the road and tell me how you think AI and biotechnology are actually going to change people's lives. Well, let's thank the financial system, the hardware people, and so forth for allowing us to build immense data centers with billions and billions of dollars of hardware with no clear revenue purpose. So thank you very much. Uh, what will happen as all of that stuff gets deployed and it's coming out is it's going to be used by incredibly clever people to solve some of these problems. And I'm not talking about the policy problems. I'm talking about the actual underlying problems. You're going to end up with these huge databases of information we don't need. We don't have now, excuse me, we do need. And an example would be an example would be that we still cannot do a digital model of a cell. Seems like a kind of a basic thing. I, I was talking to my biology friends. It's like, what's wrong with you? You've been studying cells for like 5,000 years. <laughs> the actual number is like 150. Um, what's wrong with you? And the answer is it's really hard. Um, we're pretty close to being able to do that. That unlocks huge medical science, huge drug possibilities. 